We're looking at a lottery question now. You could compute the lottery uh, in your state using this as well, like anything about guessing numbers, that's what this question is. Uh, in this, we have a lottery where we pick four numbers. You pay a dollar and you pick a four digit number. If the four numbers come up in the order you picked, you win $3,300. So here, X is the amount of, I should say that, X is the player's winnings. All right, so we'll do lose first. So if you lose, what do you actually lose? Well, it cost you a dollar to play. So you win negative one dollars. Now it seems like uh, if you win, you should win 3,300, but you did pay a dollar to play. So you really win 3,300 minus one. So you win 3,299. Now what's the probability here? Uh, let's figure out the probability of winning and then we'll just do, I'll just go ahead and do one minus, oops, equals one minus that one. We don't have it filled in yet, but we will. All right, how do we figure this out? You pick a four digit number. If the four numbers come up in the order you picked, then you win. All right, if the numbers come up in the order you pick, so you pick one number, four digit number means you pick a number between one and, or really between zero and 10,000. So there's 10,000 possibilities. So you could think of this uh, four digit number, you're gonna pick a number between zero to 9999. So you can pick a number anywhere between those. Now how many numbers are in between there? There's actually 10,000 numbers between these because usually we start from one to 10,000. So there's one chance you get it right if you guess the right number. So there's one out of 10,000 chance of winning. So that's your probability of winning. The opposite probability is already in our table. That's the probability of losing. So just like before, we're computing the expected value. So it's X times P of X equals this times this, enter, and copy that down. So looking at this, you're most likely, you're, you're expecting to lose 99.99 cents. You're basically losing a dollar, almost guaranteed. Your uh, expected winning is 32 cents. If you win, it's 32 cents. So let's compute the sum of these. So if you play this game enough, on average, you'll lose 67 cents every time you play the game. That's pretty bad. So here we have X is negative one. I'm using tab to get over. P of X point nine 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 nine. It does say X value smallest to largest. Three, two, nine, nine and point one, two, three, four, one. So four zeros and a one. Let's go ahead and hit, hit submit here, make sure, huh. Oh, look at that, I can't count. Three zeros and a one, hopefully that's right. It is, okay. What is your expected winnings? Put the units in the second box. So here expected winnings are negative 0.67. So if we use this dollars, so I don't know if they want dollars or the dollar sign. So let's go with dollars here. Uh, every time, well, it's not every time you play, you will lose. Occasionally you'll win. You have to play a lot to win, which I really don't recommend in this game. Uh, every time you play, you will win. That's not true. If you play many times, you can expect to win this many dollars per game. 
but I kind of gave away the answer there.